everyone, this is Jean, and we just finished putting up our new show, and this is June Yeager's work, and the title of the show is The Gift of Water, and I would say she has a really great gift of portraying water. Um, I think these pieces are all just stunning. Um, this is a technique that she has been doing for a long time and these pieces are fused onto a background and the uh, there's layers so this allows her to, to be like a painter with fabric is what i would say this first piece is a stream of color it is 36 by 59 and it's eighteen hundred dollars and i think the wild poppies along the shoreline really make this piece special. Now this next piece is called Moonlight Watering and those of you who are familiar with June and if you live around here you probably are but she loves horses. She has since she was a little girl and um, this was a challenge quilt that she did for the East of the Cascades quilter and the challenge was using black and white and one color and I thought this just came out beautiful. Um, she's really good getting the, uh, the faces and the eyes of the horse and I like the mountains in the background of that one too and they are quilting lines which is kind of fun. And this next piece is, piece is called Stairway to Spring. Oh, did I say how much that was? I don't think I did. The horses are 2,200. Okay, Stairway to Spring is 43 by 56, and it is um, 2,400. And I remember when she was making this piece and it was when there was spring runoff and she was thinking of the mountains in eastern, you know, southeastern Oregon. And um, these were the kinds of colors that she was gravitating to. They're a little bit more deserty type colors. And um, I can just see spring run runoff in that sort of a setting. The next one is Nature's Contribution. It's 39 by 56, and it is 2,200. And in terms of the composition, I really like how she left that top left-hand area with just quilting in it. It really keeps your eye moving around on the waterfall and her machine quilting is exquisite. You'll see all kinds of lines that give that feeling of the water flowing and there's bubbles and whirlpools. There's two, you see circular shapes in there and those were um, block printed. She carved the blocks and um, then she worked them into the design, kind of like little whirlpools almost and on the edge of the water. Um, I'm going to read her artist statement here. I absorb myself in water, nature, and the land, yielding myself to the flow, finding inner peace. I worry about these natural resources that surround me, feeling they are very temporary. So when working with fabric and paints, I tune out the world, absorbing myself and creating my vision of nature. Born and raised in Central Oregon, June is influenced by her environment. Being a fifth generation Oregonian, she became an outdoor girl at an early age, surrounded by horses and nature. The outdoors easily became the subject for her art. Her love of painting and textiles came together to help her create her own style, creating one of a kind pieces of art. Each piece she makes tells a story of her life. And I think um, just knowing these things about her helps you to understand the work that you're seeing. 
And in the last uh, few years, she's been also uh, honing in on her painting skills. And for the exhibit today, uh, or this month, she created a lot of small pieces um, that could be hung on a tree branch or they could go on a Christmas tree. You might want to give one for a gift. Um, but I think they're kind of fun. Um, and it's an opportunity for someone to own a little piece of art too. Um, the first uh, piece here is called River Horse and it is 295, 24 by 12. And the second piece um, is called Spring Melt and it's 8 by 10 and it is $80. Now let's look at this top one, this Waiting for Rain. You know, it isn't easy to paint rain or paint those clouds, but this is really what it feels like. Um, she lives near the mountains where she can see what it's looking like when it's trying to rain and those wonderful rain clouds that you see. And that one is 450. Over here from top to bottom, we have Over the Rocks and it's 12 by 16 and it is 200. Um, and it kind of has an ocean feeling to me, but it could obviously be in a stream flowing flat fast too. Um, the next one is Overflow and it is eight by 10 and it is $80. And I know she loves painting rocks. She collects rocks. So, uh, you know, these rocks along the shoreline, a lot of times will have that lichen on them too, which is kind of fun. And then this piece is called High Water. It's 12 by nine and it's 175. It's more of a collage and uh, an abstract piece. And I know she's been uh, working with putting paper in her um, paintings and then, you know, working the paints around them. I know there's strings in that one too that you can see. So it's it really has some nice texture. And this next one right above it, Let It Flow, it's 12 by 16 and it's 195. Uh, has that same kind of feeling and you can see the text that she's used in there. And I think the text, it makes you wonder, you know, what is being said. You kind of look for words, but it also means it can be anything you want it to be, which is kind of fun. And I do like the palette really well with that one the way she's used her colors. This is up a creek, it's 41 by 47, it's 2,200. And she did this piece a few years ago um, uh, during the challenge in the journeys group. And um, I've always really liked this piece. I like the movement of it. I mean, you really feel that whirlpool, that water swirling around. And you know, not everybody can use white like she does in her work. But a friend of mine, Freddie Moran, has always said that white is a beacon of light. And it certainly is in that piece. This one is called Icebreaker. It's 43 by 51 and I saw the inspirational photo she took for this piece and it was a small close-up view of ice starting to break up and I think it was a brilliant um, subject to make this quilt and part of the way she's used um, some of the prints on her fabrics especially those circles with the bursting sort of lines really helps to carry the eye around and uh, I uh, think this is a really stunning piece and I like the way she's used black in it also. Now this piece um, is one of my favorites. Um, 
June was going to take a class with um, Katie Pasquini and she wanted some help with a pallet of fabric and I had a, a, a picture that I had found of a painting that had these kinds of colors and so she just went to work um, finding fabrics and I just feel like this came together beautifully and of course I love those colors in the first place and it's called Soul Canyon. It's 24 by 48 and it's $1,200. So that's what we have for you and we're having a reception uh, Friday which is tomorrow from 4 to 6 and June will be here to visit with you and to talk about her work. So I hope to see a lot of you people who live in the area. And those of you who don't, I hope you've enjoyed the video.